Welcome out there once again to my program. Always a pleasure to be here. I have a very special guest uh, on my program, and I think you're going to really enjoy what he has to say. It's not uh, always easy to get someone of his caliber, and you'll find out why. Uh, we've, uh, in the past, uh, my show has been about veterans and veterans' issues. And of course, I've always allowed uh, a veteran to come on somewhat first. In other words, if I have the choice between allowing a veteran to come on or, or some other organization or person, I really prefer having the veteran first. So keep that in mind. Uh, any veterans out there, uh, families uh, of veterans who would like to come on a program, uh, you'll find um, my telephone number at the end of the program. You can give me a call and I'll book you in. This gentleman is uh, a resident of Fall River, and he's also a member of the Veterans of Bar and Wars Post 5392 in Tiverton, Rhode Island. And that's where I met him. I'm a member of that post also. And he told me about uh, where he served and when he served, and I was impressed. So listen uh, carefully and uh, we'll get some nice, uh, good information about uh, Mr. Leo LePage. Leo LePage, how you doing? I'm fine, thank you. So you've been, uh, You've been out uh, going around dancing, uh, et cetera, At I hear? least four times a week. Four times a week? Yeah. I try and dance. I dance more, but there's no place to go. Well, you're a young guy. Pardon? You're a young guy. Oh, yeah. Four <laughs> times a week is nothing for you, right? Yeah. I have to get my exercise somehow. Do you want to give up your age? Yeah, I'm 87 years old and a great-great-grandfather. 87 years old. Uh, great-grandfather of 15. And one great great grandfather of one that just uh, was born about three, four weeks ago. Well, that's good. Four times a week. Where do you go dancing? Uh, VFW on Fridays and sat, uh, Sundays. And uh, usually we used to go on uh, Holy Ghost, but they don't have as many dances now. And uh, Knights of Columbus, Liberal Club. I go on Tuesdays, but they haven't had no dance this week. And yeah, I go to Freetown, I go to New Bedford, uh, American Legion. That's about it. <laughs> well, that, that's, uh, that's quite a circuit you make, so to yeah. speak. Well, that's good for you. Yeah. You're in pretty good shape, Leo. I feel good. That's good. Yeah. Well, uh, Leo, uh, you were in a service. Yes. What branch of the service? I was in the Army. United in States Com Army? Yes, yeah, in the combat engineers. Now, at that time, was that called the Army Air Force? No. No, it was no, just the... It was uh, just, uh, we would build bridges and salt crossings and uh, different things like that. So we you built were, the first two bridges across the Rhine River. You were World War, World War II? Yes. Now, uh, when did you, uh, when did you uh, start serving in the Army? What year? On St. Patrick's Day, 1943. 1943. Uh, we went up to uh, Fort Devens, and we stayed there for six months. We took my basic there, and from there we went to West Virginia on maneuvers. There I happened to uh, do two, uh, two, uh, two weeks of uh, mountain climbing, then two weeks of firefighting, and then two weeks of uh, furlough, and then I finally went back to the outfit, and we, we just went to uh, Fort Dix. So uh, you went on furlough uh, for two weeks yeah. here in Fall River? Yes. And then what, what duty station did you report to? Uh, we brought it back to West Virginia, but we, uh, shortly after that, we went to uh, Fort Dix and got ready to go overseas. Now, uh, how did you, uh, you went by troop transport, I imagine? No. No? We went over on the Queen Mary five days. I think it's only five days to get over there, oh, and the it Queen was Mary. one of the biggest storms in the, uh, in the channel uh, up to that time, and uh, there was 15,000 troops sick. 15,000? We were all 000. sick. So the Queen Mary, yeah. and there was 15,000 of you on a ship. Yeah, 15,000 troops. How many? Troops. Yeah. 15,000. You must have been packed in like sardines. Uh, not really. No kidding. Oh. I was in the Mesquite line. 
I couldn't take it anymore. Everybody, and that's the only time I, 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 I didn't get sick. Yes, I did. I'm the only, uh, that's the only place I ever got sick. I went fishing for years, never got sick, but I got sick during that time. So it only took five days. That was a pretty quick trip. Yeah, we, yeah. we uh, docked in uh, Scotland, Glasgow, and from there we went to England. And we stayed there for until, actually speaking, we uh, went over in D-28. Uh, some of the members... Well, when you that, say D-28... D-28, uh, that's but, uh, after D-Day. D-Day, 28 yeah. days. Because they didn't need us up until that time. So, from uh, Scotland, you went to, you say, England? Mm -hmm. And then D-28, you crossed the channel? Yes. And you ended up in France? Yes. All right. Where in France did you disembark? Uh, sure, boy. Uh, and we ended up in the Signy, and uh, right after the St. Lowe breakthrough, we joined Patton and stayed with him till the end of the war. All right. So you were in Patton's Third Army? Yeah. Uh, now, uh, prior to that, we were in the First Army. Okay. Do you remember who the general was of the First Army? Uh, Hodgson, I think. Something oh, like that. Hodges? Hodges. Hodges. Something like that. Yeah, That's General right. Hodges. Sounds familiar. So I got the whole history at home, but I didn't bring yeah. it with me. So uh, you ended up with um, blood and guts himself. Oh, yeah. Uh, we seen him. Was he that bad? He tough. Tough. He was tough. Very tough. Did you see his pearl? <laughs> what was it? Uh, yeah, he had him on. I, I think he didn't like that. Uh, <laughs> I think they were ivory. Uh, mm -hmm. Not Pearl. He, he didn't like uh, anyone. The longest we have seen him was at uh, on the Rhine, because he was always on the go, and uh, like we were, we kept following the. So when you joined up with the Third Army, where did you join up with the Third Army? Where? Yeah. What what part of? Just uh, pro, uh, just before Saint Lo. Okay. Uh, in fact, we were in Sydney. We were fixing roads at the time uh, while we were waiting to, for Patton to break through. All right. Now. Uh, we involved with the uh, the Feliz, what they call the Feliz pocket. That was that uh, was later. Later. Yeah. Oh, all right. We uh, I got the name, but we actually speaking, I get the map at home in yeah. the thing where we uh, went, and uh, we ended up in uh, west of Metz, where I got wounded. Metz. Yeah, west of Metz in west. Luxembourg. Okay. And I got wounded, and I. Disappeared from the outfit for over three months. I went all the way back to England, in the hospitals, and I finally come back. On the 719th, two days after the Battle of the Buzz started. In fact, I met a young fella, young fella, I was young myself, uh, from uh, the Flint. And I found out when I got home, he got killed on the 21st. Two days after I met him, he got killed on the and December twenty first. Infantry. December twenty first. I didn't was, find out until they got home. And that was nineteen forty four. Yes. Now, uh, did you uh, did you have any uh, involvement with the uh, the Battle of Bastogne, the, the Battle of the, the Bulge? Uh, actually, we were south there, yeah, and that's when uh, I was in the hospital. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you were in a hospital. When did w w approximately? Uh, when did you rejoin your unit? On December 19th. December 19th. The, the two days after the bulge started. Uh, the, the bulge started. Yeah. Now, uh, General Patton was uh, uh, fairly instrumental in uh, cutting off that uh, bulge. Yeah. Did you go along with him? We were uh, involved in that. And we took off to go help the guys that were uh, surrounded. Okay, that was the uh, yeah. paratroopers up there. Yeah, I, th I think it was. So, what, yeah. uh, uh, because they called us to get moving so we could go ahead and do our thing. Now, uh, what, what kind of outfit were you in again? Uh, combat engineers. Okay, combat engineers. We built engineer. 276 bridges while we were over there, and we built the two uh, bridges over the Rhine, but my battalion, well, my, my company and another company built these. Uh, the, now, uh, what kind of a bridge would you build? Was it a pontoon bridge? Uh, pontoon, uh, tre uh, treadways, and um, bailey bridges. 
Oh, the a lot Baileys. of Bailey bridges. Now those were pretty, the Baileys were pretty light bridges. No, they're heavy. The heavy panel weighed 600 pounds. Oh, was and that during right? basic training, there was six of us carrying it. During the war, it was four. And don't get next to a tall guy because <laughs> you were down, way down low. Now, uh, we built a lot of those. Those bridges, um, some of those bridges could actually hold a tank across. Oh, absolutely. Even the, uh, the pontoons. The pontoons. Could hold tanks. So. Because there were a lot of pontoons with tread, treadways, they call it, on there for the tanks to go over. And uh, building bridges night and day? Not much Pretty much up. so. Uh, 276 bridges, that's a lot of bridges. How there many? was only three companies outside the headquarters that were building them. All right, so 120 men in a company? Oh, no, there was more than that. Actually speaking, I think there was 700 and something in the battalion. Oh, battalion, yeah. We, we were a, a lone outfit. Which we went and worked with the 4th Armored, uh, paratroopers, uh, the 1st uh, Division. We worked with different uh, uh, guys who needed, people who needed us to build bridges or assault crossings. We had uh, about three assault crossings. I got the... Uh, now, when you say an, an assault, two of them. It was an assault crossing. You, you were building under fire? Oh, yeah. We had one guy in the picture there. His name is Jim Woolley. He was from the, up around uh, Cambridge Street. And uh, he died since. He was 80, uh, which picture 10 years is, older than me. The guy which, on the second one from the le uh, right. In this, in this picture here? Yeah. Well, let's get this. Uh, they didn't know it, but I met the family, and it's on the computer. Now, he's the... Uh, the second from the right. Uh, Jim Wally for uh, Cambridge Street, I think it was. In Fall River, and he, uh, yeah. he, uh, he was 10 years older. We are, oh, anybody that was 10 years older than us, we call him Pop. Are you in this picture? No, okay. I'm in all the others. But these guys were in your outfit? Yeah. Well, all these right. guys here were in a different platoon. We were in a uh, C company, but a different platoon. But I had their pictures because I knew two of them very well. Now, he, oh, I meant to tell you. I was going to add that to it. One time we were building a bridge, and uh, every time we'd go there and ba bang the bridge, the Germans would open up. So we all ducked in the houses. And every once in a while, he'd go out there by himself and bang on the bridge and run like hex into, back into the house. <laughs> they'd be firing at nobody. Now, uh, the, uh, you say uh, you got to the Rhine. Yes. Now, did you have anything to do with the, the, uh, the Western fortifications? Uh, the Germans call that the, well, the West Wall. That was, was, that was a couple of assault crosses we were on. We were on the Western Met, and then we were on the Owl River and the Meuse. Uh, we made a, took infantry across the river, three engineers and seven uh, infantrymen. And we'd take them across the rivers in assault boats, and uh, it was pretty dark. At night? Yeah. Uh, where, where, uh, where did you build, uh, you, you said you built two, built, uh, two bridges over the Rhine. Yeah. Did you recall oh, where? I, no, I wouldn't recall unless I looked at my uh, book. Yeah. But the history t uh, tells you everything. Well, how about that bridge, uh, the famous bridge? Remagen. Uh, yeah. We went there. That, uh, did you hear about it? I mean, oh, like yeah. when you were there? Yeah. yeah. It was that yeah. pretty exhilarating? They saved the bridge. Yeah, the Germans tried to blow it, but... Uh, uh, that was quite a thing. Well, they had a movie on that. Yeah. The Margaret Bridge, yeah. Yeah. That was quite a thing. The English, uh, English were in there, too. Now, give us an idea of... Uh, there you are, you're in Germany. Uh, you're part of the, uh, you know, the, the combat engineers. Mm. Uh, what was, a, what was a, a day like? What time did you get up? <laughs> I mean, on average. We were lucky if we slept. <laughs> We get up when we could, or when we were told to. Uh, it was on and off because we, with Patton, he just took off. He just wanted to keep going. Yeah. He, oh yeah. He just kept going. Non stop. Was, that's why we ran out of gas uh, a couple of times. But uh, we're on the go. We'd stop. The infantry would go ahead, clear the area out, and then we'd take off again. And uh, we were in two and a half ton trucks. Slept in a truck. Be, uh, slept in a truck a lot. Yeah. Just. Oh, just, yeah, I do. Yeah. I was, uh, one night and uh, before the um, the 
Ryan River, we were in station and there was a guy uh, firing 105 long times, 155. And he broke the ceiling down. We never woke up until the morning. The whole ceiling was all over the bed. We were sleeping in bed then when we reached Germany. Yeah. We couldn't sleep in any other bed in any other country, just Germany. Oh, so when you we went to couldn't go into houses. Couldn't go into houses? No. So we put up tents. I've been sleeping in the truck a lot. But when you got to Germany, so you got right into the house. Yeah. That's the time that allowed us to uh, occupy a dwelling. Yeah. yeah. That's the occupation, yeah. Yeah. So you got across, uh, you got across the Rhine. Yeah. Um, where in Germany uh, were you? Any big towns that you recall? No. No. no to, to be honest with you, no, I can't remember that. Yeah. I remember a lot of things that happened during the war and where we were, but we moved around so fast that I never know where you were. You know? What about um, food? Uh, give us an idea what kind oh, of... Oh, the food was great. It was great. You weren't eating out of cans? No, uh, well, we, at times when we didn't have no cook around, yeah. we had to eat uh, K rations and C rations. Okay, what, the C what, rations were super. What would you find in the C ration? Oh, <laughs> all kinds of food and uh, peanuts, gum, chocolate you know, bar, yeah, cheese, cigarettes. And, uh, stuff. This is K, uh, K rations were a little tough. There'd be a, there'd be something like uh, prune. A bar of prunes or something. Yeah, probably canned there in 1917. Yeah. Yeah. And there was toilet paper in there and uh, different things. So, uh, but uh, when you didn't have to eat uh, C or K rations, what kind of uh, food would? Uh, oh, we had we had a good cook. Like, like, give us an idea. The first time I ever had apples in a salad. Apples? <laughs> He'd chop up apples and put it in the salad. Make a heck of a beef stew. He was good. This guy was good. So that was uh, a field kitchen and uh, yeah. kind of followed you all, uh, around? Yeah, they'd be a back. They'd be, uh, they're always close, you know, with the yeah. trucks. And if he had a chance to set up, he'd set up. But sometimes he'd set up and have to take off right away. Yeah. I have to talk with the hands because I'm French. No, well, that's okay. <laughs> um, now, so you're over there and... Um, what, what was your job? Did you have a specific I job? I was a rigger. A rigger. What is a rigger? A rigger. <laughs> Do anything. Handyman? <laughs> they had to give me an MO, and that was what they gave me, a, a rigger. I never, I, I had chances to be promoted, but I always goofed up some, oh. one way or another. And that was my, they called me the lip in the service. The lip? Yeah. You'd like to talk? Or? Oh, <laughs> I used to make them laugh, but if they got mad at me, I wouldn't, they wouldn't be mad very long. I'd always I'd say something funny for them to change, the, change their mind. You know, we got some pictures here, and I'm going to get these on the screen one by one. I'll and, try and uh, And Leo, you, you can uh, uh, give us an idea who's, uh, who's in the picture. I'm right in the middle there. Okay, you're the guy and with that's the, my squad. Oh, you got the arm over your knee? Yeah, the one way in the back is the cor uh, corporal. His name was Nicholas Kakunas. Okay, and now, was, Chris, he, uh, was he in charge of the squad? Uh, he was the uh, second in command. All right. I'm trying to find the sergeant, and I don't see him there, Mulcahy. And the guy below Kokunas is Campion from uh, Providence. Next to him is Chris, uh, Chris uh, Andrianus, Manny Pitter down here, and the other two guys I, remember, uh, I don't remember. But that guy there, we had a guy named Heinze Carl in my squad. And it might have been him because he had a swastika there. But I don't know, you must have picked up a band someplace. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got this other one here. Let's, uh, what do we have on here, uh, Leo? All right. That's the same, uh, I'll see if the sergeant's in there. He must have been taking the pictures because I don't see him there. I'm right in the center again. How do you manage to get in the center all the time? I don't know. Center of attraction? I don't now, know. Now, all these guys are in your squad? Yes. How many in, your, how many in the squad? Uh, these are about 12, I guess. 12. 12. Plus the sergeant and the So you, uh, had, a, you had a corporal, corporal and you yeah. had a sergeant, and the rest of them were the, uh, the corporal's right in, uh, laying on me, just below me there. Yeah. I, I tried to call him the other day, but there was no answer, so he... He was a now, little older than I was. Where was this taken? Is this in Germany? 
Uh, I have no idea. All right. I met, I met him at the re, one of the reunions. We had 60 reunions. And they stopped doing them a few, uh, because it was not, there wasn't enough guys left. Yeah. And uh, he was there, and he says, I got pictures of you at home, Leo. Well, I said, I wish you'd send them to me. So he did. Well, that but was I nice. I haven't been able to get a hold of them. A lot of us are gone. Yeah. Okay, we got this other one here. Let's uh, find out who is, uh, who is in this picture. Yeah, I'm uh, the second from, from the left in the back. Second from the left? Yeah. And there's the same guy. You don't have anybody different there. Uh, I have a right ain't there. And that looks like, is that a, a field or a wall behind you? Oh, it must be a wall. It looks like one of them is leaning against... I really don't know because yeah. I didn't know these pictures uh, were... I know they were taken at some time, but I didn't know they were uh, in existence yeah. until I met him at uh, one of the reunions. Okay, we've got one more. Uh, yeah, that's the original, that one I had. That's the, uh, the, the original squad. Okay. That one I had myself, but uh, the others were sent by him. Okay, Leo, where are you now? We're all the picture? same guys. Where are you in this picture? At bottom right. All to, to the far right? The bottom, yeah. Yeah. Can't you tell the difference? <laughs> they all look the same. I look the same. Not, not as I do now. Oh, you, but. You're familiar with the faces. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that looks like a building of some sort behind you. A who? A building. That looks like a building be, behind. I have no idea. Yeah. I I'd I'd, I'd, would have had to talk to Nick because he seemed to have all the pictures. Yeah. Maybe he, you think he took them or? Pardon? Do you think Nick took the pictures? No, no. No, he's in the... No, oh, he's somebody in the else. I think it was the sergeant, because we had a sergeant McKay, and, uh, but he's not in any of the pictures. Maybe he was the one who was taking them. So there you are, uh, in Germany. Yeah, we ended up in Czechoslovakia. Oh, where in When uh, President yeah. Roosevelt died. Uh, okay, he and died. And then we went to, uh, we built the fixed bridge. He died in April of uh, 1945. Yeah. And you were in Czechoslovakia? I got out in, uh, October 14, 1945. Where in Czechoslovakia? Do you have any idea? No. No. I was in uh, Austria, too, for a while. Yeah. I was in the hospital there for about a month. What happened, Leo? <laughs> I'd rather not say. Okay. <laughs> So there you are, you, you get all the way down into, uh, I imagine you get into Bavaria, in the southern part of uh, Germany. Oh, uh, that I'm not quite sure. Well, no. But I know w when the war ended and, and President Roosevelt died, we were in Czechoslovakia, and we built a fixed bridge in uh, Straubling, uh, Germany, a uh, thousand feet long. Thousand feet yeah. long. A fixed bridge. It was going to stay there for quite a while. All out of big timbers. Uh, over a river or just? Yeah. Yeah. It was quite a, quite a thing. Yeah. And um, then you went up. Uh, you, you were in Czechoslovakia. I should say you went down yeah. to uh, Austria. Yeah. Put in a hospital for a month. Okay. So. Uh, stayed there in a month because it shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have been in there a month. But everybody got infected that had what they had done. Oh. So, there you are. Uh, you got out of the hospital. Where'd you go after that? Uh, well, I went back to the outfit and checked. And then we, uh, they told us, uh, I had enough points to get out at that time. And I was still only 20. And, uh, you know, I can hardly remember where I, from there, where I went to. I'd have to look in, uh, in my uh, history. Yeah. But we got on the ship, and it took us a few days. Everybody was gambling on the ship. Oh, you must, did you have... And they um, told us, don't take anything in your duffel bags because you're going to get caught. We could have brought everything under the sun because nobody ever checked them. A lot of souvenirs? No, all kinds of souvenirs. What were guys, what were guys bringing back? Oh, uh, anything they could. Pistols, bayonets? Yeah. I had a, uh, a Walters 38 myself that I found in the closet in the German house. And uh, when, I went, <coughs> excuse me, when I went to the, the hospital, the uh, supply sergeant made it disappear. Oh, he wanted to protect you. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice, really nice one too. <laughs> Had the bullets and all. 
and I, I was afraid to take it home anyhow, but I could have taken it home without no problem. So the war ended um, in May 45 in Germany. What did you do until October? What kind of uh, duty did you do? The war's over? Well, we, the, we spent most of the time building that fixed bridge. Oh, even at, right after the war? Yes. Okay. That's what it was after the war. Yeah, all right. Uh, we were stationed in uh, uh, Panzer School, a big building. And, uh, Panzer, that's a, that means tank then in I, That's when I started getting nervous about high, uh, lightning. I was out there with a rifle on my shoulder, and I asked the guy, I said, can lightning strike any place? He says, yeah, especially out here. <laughs> so there you were at uh, so-called Panzer School. Uh, that was in uh, Straubling. And where was that? Straubling. Straubling. <laughs> yeah. I can talk a little German, but it's, it's not easy. Yeah. Because you have to have a guttural sound. Like yeah. Well, so uh, you, you, you remained in the Army until October 1945. How did you get back home? By a slow boat. <laughs> it wasn't the Queen Mary no more. Troop transport? It took us a while. It about 10 to 15 days, I guess, to get yeah. home. And uh, I went back to Germany. You, 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 you left from Germany? Yeah. And you got uh, where? To New York? Uh, no. Uh, where the heck did we debark? Yeah, I guess it was New York. We uh, disembarked because uh, shortly after that, I ended up home, uh, in Devons. Up to Fort Devons? Yeah, where we spent the first six months of uh, my time in the city. How long did you stay uh, in Devons? Uh, not too long. They processed me and. Uh, they told me that, uh, go home, you're all done. But some of the guys went to Japan. Oh. Guys who hadn't been wounded. Over half of the outfit got wounded at least once or twice. So a lot of wounded, but there was 56 killed. One from Fall River. In your outfit? Yeah. So uh, you went home, and um, were you happy to get back home? I loved the... I, I, I love the basic training. You did, and I, I, I wish I could have stayed in there just to do basic training. I loved it. I weighed 118 pounds, five foot six when I went in the service. And how much and did you weigh? basic train, huh? How much did you weigh? 118. You were thin. <laughs> I had the other basic training, I weighed 148 and gained two and a half inches. <laughs> you and since then, I've lost a half. <laughs> uh, I, I, I could eat. One time in West Virginia, I ate 17 pancakes. Wow. And I, I was hungry. <laughs> I was I always eat hungry. So there you were, uh, got back home, and uh, briefly, what did you do when you got back home? I, uh, uh, October, I, I stayed out of work until the end of the year. They was giving us $120 a month uh, if you st just stayed home. So I stayed till the uh, after the New Year's. I went back to work in American Tread Company. Okay, uh, Leo, uh, really appreciate uh, you coming on my program. We're, we're I want right to thank at, you. We're at the very end here, and uh, quite an experience you had, uh, quite a, you might say, adventure. Uh, you can't buy that kind of experience. No, you can't. But uh, it's, uh, no. it, it was not funny. People, people go and take these trips, and they spend thousands and thousands of dollars, and they don't really see anything. You know, a couple of museums and a few bus stations. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, program. Uh, I enjoyed uh, Leo LePage being on uh, my show. I thank him. I thank you out there for watching. And once again, if you know any veterans that want to come on, have them call me. I'll be happy to have them come on here on the program. So, once again, thank you out there for watching, and see you next time. <laughs>